A quick question to this, this crew here. Um, how many of you are, are using uh, OpenAI right now or have touched it or, and, come on, that's gotta be the whole room. Uh, and then uh, w one more survey here as I get into it is how, how many of you are, have touched or used like Llama Index or, or LangChain? Okay, wow, that's a, a good set too. So, uh, so frameworks are, are important in, and, um, uh, and, and a big, big, hands-on crew here. So the first thing I'm gonna say is uh, a lot of the founders and people here are technical. So this is gonna be pr pretty technical talk. That's kind of how we do it. Uh, feel free to ask questions. We're gonna find ways to, to get questions in. Maybe it's through Slack or, or different means. Uh, so so uh, feel free to be interactive, technical um, as, as you look at it. And so LM observability. So we're, we're an observability company, which, which means software to help you troubleshoot, debug, analyze, evaluate your, your systems. And, and on the right side of this is, is kind of our, our enterprise platform, which is probably used by, I wanna say like half of the top ML, ML teams in the world. So, so think of like the Ubers or the Etsy's, uh, top enterprises. And on the left side you have, what we have is a growing uh, open source solution called Phoenix. And we'll, we're gonna go through a little bit of both of these today. And as I think of LLM observability, you, just trying to understand what LMs are doing and troubleshooting them is, is an immense pain point. If you use LangChain, if you use Llama Index, if you use you know, OpenAI directly, all those things are gonna, you know, you're, gonna, you're gonna feel it. And as you think about observability, we think about it in, in really five ways here. So one, we'll go through LM traces and spans, which is really a Llama Index and LangChain type thing, which is using those frameworks you you get this, you know, you, you want to open up the complexity and understand what's going on. Evals, prompt testing and iteration, RAG and fine tune. I think this full set is going to be everyone here today talking about these. So I'm going to spend a little time on the first two here, which is traces, spans, and LM evals. Well, well the rest of the, the group goes through the, the, these other things. Now, we, we're one of the unique companies in that, like, we're, we're like a data dog for, for ML. Uh, meaning that we're software to help you troubleshoot your production systems. And on the right side of my previous slide, like our, our big, our platform's one of the best at, at that. Which means we see a lot of real use cases. Lots of Twitter demos out there. Lots of Twitter demos don't make it to production. We probably see more production use cases than I think most other companies out there. Um, probably most other companies you talk to combined. One we see out there, which I'm gonna go through right now, is, is like a chat to purchase. Um, we're seeing this in e-commerce, we're seeing this in travel, we're seeing this uh, across a lot of delivery companies where uh, it's an experience of a, a discussion with, with chat with a, a purchase at the end, real money, uh, a really, a kind of a nice experience to extract information from your customer on like what you wanna go purchase. Uh, if you go to most travel sites right now, you're gonna see some, some incarnation of this. Uh, a lot of product companies, e-commerce are doing this. I bet you some of you will actually be creating whole companies around the, the chat to purchase uh, option. And, and what happens is there's some you know, back and forth that occurs, uh, description, some, some information, like I, I wanna, I'm cooking a dinner, what wine should I have, um, where the, the LLMs are kind of like getting information from you to make a recommendation on some product. Uh, we, and, and what happens in the background here is you have some chat and, and it's not just, one chat experience. There's a structured data extraction. So what, what are the, the items you might want? What are the, um, you know, the, the different, you know, what, what is the wine type that you're, you're after? There's potentially some recommendation or, or, or um, I, I, you know, some ways, maybe search and retrieval recommendation on, on the products. And then finally, some composition at the end. And, and my point of this is that, um, that, that this isn't simply one, one LLM experience. It's kind of like a bunch of use cases in one. There's like the top three here, chatbot, structured data extra, extraction, maybe a little uh, summarization at the end in, in like one production experience. Uh, and this is, again, working with kind of some, some of those top internet companies, like what, what we see them, them doing. So chat experience, some of you have found with LinkChain, maybe there's some structured data extraction where you're pulling you know, structured data out of your unstructured conversation, summarizing it at the end to generalize that, that solution to your client. 
And what's nice about this is there are some great solutions. You're gonna hear from Llama Index tonight where you can create some of this with a couple lines of code. What happens in the hood, so, so you've got a couple lines of code. What happens in the hood is, is a lot of calls and potentially a lot of LLM calls. Um, it, it's kind of a unique software experience. So, so those of you who've been building software a long time, you know, distributed systems and distributed system calls, we're, we're used to kind of spans, maybe traces, but, but in one little one line of code, you could have like 10 distributed system calls here, um, maybe even 20 on, on some of these cases. So a lot going on underneath the hood of what makes it a really natural, easy experience, which is great. But it can be just hard to troubleshoot when something goes wrong. Where do I need to change my prompts in here? Where do I, like, how do I even find these things going on? So the abstractions of, of Llama Index and LangChain have made it easy and amazing to build this stuff, but you still need tools to help iterate, troubleshoot, and improve what you built, which is what we do. Um, so quick, quick rundown of what are traces and spans that are kicked off by, by the, the Llama Indexes of the Llama Index solutions. Well, they might, uh, kick off some, something in, in, in the highest level of like, maybe, maybe it's one part of the conversation. Uh, maybe it's, it's also some, some retriever or LLM calls underneath here where you're getting data that, that's, you know, that's, that's internally stored and then you're, you're returning. There's a whole suite of like span types that are kind of occurring under the hood here. So there's maybe your top level chain, but there's retriever spans, there's um, embedding spans, there's LLM call spans. So all this stuff's going underneath the hood. And if you want to improve this at all, you're going to have to change some of the prompts underneath. You're going to have to change some of the default prompts in the system here. You're going to have to know what happened under, underneath the hood. Um, so this is a, a set of things that are out there. We have uh, a suite of things around conversation evals that, that are coming. Um, so what am I going to show you tonight and what, what, have we, what are we launching? Uh, we have traces in Phoenix. So this is for developers building in Llama Index or, or LangChain. And, and basically, it's open source. So you're not set, you don't have to worry about where you're sending your, your data to or from. Uh, works locally where you're running it. Uh, you can troubleshoot your spans, and, your spans and traces under the hood with kind of a, a click of a button. I'll, I'll demo it for you in a second. So what you have here is a, a question and answer on, on basically the RISE docs. And you know, it's really easy to create this. It's, again, I think a lot of you have used LangChain or Llama Index, know how easy it is to do this. And then there's some queries we're running against the, the data set here. This open source solution you know, helps you understand what's going on under the hood. You can see these queries. In this case, can I copy a dashboard? Yes, you can. Uh, like, not quite the answer I was hoping for. I was hoping for a little more detail. But there's whole solutions here to help troubleshoot what's going on. I can look at like the attributes of my retriever. Well, wh wh what are the documents it's referencing in the first place? What chunks are, is it referencing to even give me that answer? Um, what was the L constructed LLM call under the hood here to even understand why is it returning this? What's it, what was it fed to even return it in the first place? Very easy troubleshooting solutions. Um, open source, gets you started, helps you iterate and improve. What's awesome about this too, is you can come back to the, so you, it's a plugin, it runs with Llama Index, LangChain, and you can just come back to the notebook here and have that data in a data frame to run evaluations on. So we'll talk to you in a little bit about evals, uh, but you can run evals on your data in a notebook and, and basically evaluate and move between those two. You can take your evals and you can actually send them back or update the spans that you have in Phoenix for tracing down problems. So this, these blue lines, everything looks okay, but I can colorize by performance or status or timing. When I wanna go to production, I'm gonna give you a little taste of what happens when I, when I go to production with, with this. So say I wanna go to production, well you have now the, the Rise platform which this is the production enterprise solution. This is designed for monitoring always on uh, deployment in your VPC or SaaS. And you can, you know, just like, you know, think of this as like Datadog for AI. You have the ability to sort and find periods of performance problems. You have the ability to, um, yeah, let me zoom in. 
Okay. So you have the ability to see your prompts, see your responses, see your templates, uh, capture information about the, the model params being used. If there was retrievals done, you have information on what were the retrieved uh, information on these spans. And then for debugging, there's a whole prompt, prompt playground where I can come in, I can you know, look at my, what was my production data? What was, what, what was the template used? You know, I can replay, I, I can replay kind of responses here. I can choose models. I can really troubleshoot with the data in production. So this prompts executing in production with a set of variables that are pulled in, the, the, the context returned. Um, so there's a whole suite of things where I can troubleshoot those templates in production and, and iterate and then improve. There's the ability to compare data sets side by side, periods of time. There's, you know, eval, I can do, move between performance metrics of evals and thumbs up, say, or if I really want to debug something incredibly complex, like uh, um, an e, you know, a, a retrieval troubleshooting flows, there's a whole suite of solutions for visualizing the embeddings that are coming out of your vector DB and sorting and sorting the clusters by performance. So where am I? This, this performance metric is saying my evals are poor. Well, what, what prompts are doing that? Well, there are pricing questions about Arise that aren't in our docs. Um, so I can sort up clusters with problems. I can have GPT-4 summarize the clusters for me so I don't need to sort through all of them. So uh, an extensive set of tools when you go to production. So Phoenix for development, as you're just starting off, please test out the OSS. We have a lot, uh, a lot there. And, and the Rise production is you're going into production, um, one of the best platforms out there. Going back, one more thing. Um, you know, so, so you know, hammering this home, Arise for production, Phoenix for development, evals. We're launching evals. Uh, we, it's an experimental in Arise uh, Phoenix right now, launching officially at the end of the month. Uh, with an amazing library for, for doing LM evals, which is a hot topic. So how do you evaluate uh, what you have there? And what I think, what I feel is missing from the space and what we're adding is rigor. So think of it as pre-tested with data sets to test and believe the evals work. With the same set of evals in Harness, you can move between LangChain Appliable and LangChain and Llama Index to, um, to, to, to stuff you can test in, in your development pipelines. Like our hallucination evals on the test set 85% pre precision, you know, 80% F1. Really, really good set of, of pre-tested evals. Now, evals, you might want to apply across different spans. You might have an overall question and answer eval. You might have um, evals for retrieval. So, so your evaluations, as you think about them, um, you need to occur at different spots within your system to be able to troubleshoot where your problems are. Uh, the library from Phoenix is designed to be able to run these at a span level and apply them both in pre-production and production. How do they work? These are LLM evals. We use another LLM to evaluate your LLM in production. Uh, if you go out there, I feel like a lot of people are doing this in, in different ways or trying to make this work. It's a very simple, lightweight library designed to build trust, ease of use, and movement between production and, and testing. Um, what does it look like? Well, this is a retrieval eval. So there's an eval template that's basically, you are comparing a reference text to this question. Does it answer the question? The LLM evaluates the retrieval, evaluates the performance of the retrieved doc. So you've got an LLM evaluating an LLM. It's kind of meta, uh, but people evaluate other people with tests and teachers all the time. This is going to be everywhere, so we're, you know, I, I feel like it, get used to LMs evaluating LMs. Um, we have a suite of pre-tested templates, but you can create your own. Uh, pre-tested on well-known data sets, golden data sets with really good scores. So we've thought a lot about this. We think everyone has a lot of like eval this, eval that, where I don't trust the results, like, hard to trust results. You can reproduce these results and go use these same evals on production data. Um, you can create your own. Uh, so if you want to learn more about evals, we are 
going to have, if you want to learn more about evals, we have a launch at the end of the month and we'll be sending out an email, join the, the virtual session. With that, I'm super excited for the rest of uh, rest of the evening here, and um, so thank you all, and please check out Phoenix and Arise.